hi guys welcome back to uncut with uju thank you so much for clicking on my video please do not make your last smash the subscribe button to be part of this great community and um yeah let's just jump right in today's video a south african man shared why nigerians are not allowed in south africa he also made it clear that julius malema lost because he made it publicly that he preferred nigerians over south africa he didn't stop though this guy i mean julius also compared the music football and co which he dressed Drastically talked down on South Africa. So according to Julius Malema, he preferred Nigeria and feels that South Africans are just maybe not doing enough. Enough of the talking. Let me just quickly let this video roll. Then we come back and address this properly. So watch this video. We'll be right back. You won't believe what Julius Malema said. Watch this. Nigerians in that entertainment industry, they are not competing with South Africa. They are competing with America. When you see an, a Nigerian artist, when you see a music video of a Nigerian, you will mistake it for Americans. They are moving. You are busy with my chair. People are working on the... You were so close. You were so close to winning the elections. You couldn't just wait for two more months. You couldn't just wait for two more months. You're literally siding with people that South Africans are always fighting on social media because they're always coming after our culture, our music, trying to steal things from us. And you, who we supposedly trusted, you're siding with them. It's over. It's over. You can forget about the elections. You can forget about us voting for you. You can, for it's like you can forget about me voting for you. I don't know about you guys, but he clearly doesn't like us. One thing Julius Malema always preaches African unity and it's always seem, it seems as if like he prioritized them over us. So he lost my vote. I'm sorry. Let me know what you think. You know what I mean? And we all know that matters like this, Nigerians don't keep quiet. You guys, there are a lot of stitches I was able to gather together and how people reacted to this. Both Nigerians and South Africans kept shading themselves down there. But before then, I would like to say something. They feel like if Julius Malema was allowed to, you know, on the seat, that he is going to make their country porous and therefore letting a lot of Nigerians in South Africa. Let me just quickly let these videos roll. You know, how people reacted to this. Then we come back and talk more on it. Deciding with people that South Africa are always fighting on social media yeah, let's correct this guy um, it is totally wrong for you to say that Nigeria and South Africa are fighting um, why would Nigeria waste her resources to end the apartheid regime in South Africa only to now have a fight with her the Nigerians see you as their younger brothers and sisters and uh, Nigerians also see your helplessness in your country. Let me tell you, if you remove the white men that reside in South Africa, South Africa will be as humble as Burundi. In fact, South Africa will even be worse than Burundi. So why will, will the uh, Nigeria fight you? Well, Nigerians are not fighting you. What you are doing is when you make this mistake, just as you have made now, we correct you, not to fight you. Why can't we fight you? So you should stop this issue of uh, hatred on Nigeria and uh, understand that you should respect your senior brothers. Uh, Nigerians are your uh, leaders, so you have to uh, respect them. We know your helplessness. So stop um, attacking your brother, uh, the activist, what was, the, what was his name, uh, because of um, the truth he has said. Uh, Nigeria, we see you as our younger brothers and sisters. We are not fighting you. And Nigeria will never fight you. Thank you. Because how can I trust that you have South Africa's best interests at heart when at every turn you are degrading and undermining your very own fellow citizens? Number two, are they really revolutionary or is it just an aesthetic? Because I know we've all seen those corruption scandals. Number three, Telling black South African women to give birth to more children because you're going to give them more money is insane. The adoption system is in shambles. Children are being abandoned and abused. People who aren't entitled to governmental benefits are also receiving them due to corruption, including people from outside. If this is the way the youth of South Africa think we are lost, we have no future. We absolutely have no future. 
I mean, just because Julius Malema is stating an opinion, that is sort of a fact. Because, to be honest, when it comes to the music videos, when it comes to movies and stuff, Nigeria seem to do better because, as Malema said, they are competing with America and not South Africa, whereas South Africa is competing with Nigeria. Now the funny thing is, a video before uh, the video before that, you say you hate politics, but here yeah, you politicking. There you are going, you delving into politics, and telling people you won't vote for Malema because he just thinks differently compared to you. And you know what? You have a lot of likes on that video. That just tells me that's what what the youth think. That's how the youth associate themselves with people. And wait, wait, I'm not done there. After that video, you spoke nice about the video. You praised the video. You just spoke shit about Malema for talking about Nigerians, praising Nigerians. Yet you, the video, the, the video directly after that, you go and talk about the video. Just tell us that somebody paid you to talk shit about Malema, please, man. Just tell us. Don't, don't, don't go like this here. Don't go like a snake. Just say straight. Somebody paid me to make a shit video about Malema. You know what's the sad part? I can promise you now, you will not talk bad about Sia Kolesi. Then you, you, you possibly wondering what's my correlation with Sia Kolesi and Malema. Malema just spoke bad, not even spoke bad. Malema just praised Nigerians. Sia Kolesi is married to a, a descendant of a, a of an oppressor. In to me, there's a direct correlation. Shouldn't you be upset with Sia going going there deep into the heart of the oppressors? Hey, shouldn't you be upset with him? But I promise you. Any darky that is married to a veto, you will not you will not say anything bad about them. But because it's an African man, or maybe because it's Malema and somebody actually paid you to make a video, that's why you made this video. It is sad that we have youth like you today in this world. That flip flop, flip flop, don't know where they stand. They have no legs to stand on. He who falls for anything will stand for nothing. Or he who does not stand for anything will fall for everything. I am very worried for my country. I am extremely worried. There is no hope. If you're a South African watching, do you think there is still hope with the stereo, like the new president of South Africa? The other day, Tinubu was there to, on his inauguration to, you know, welcome him and congratulate him. But we learned that he snubbed Tinubu. Hmm, Omar, this is actually getting out of hand. I was able to put a lot of more stitches for you guys because this particular statement made by this man was not found funny at all, both Nigerians and South Africans. So let's just keep watching. I think it's just pure e evil and it's the only thing and the only solution. Let's pray about it. God will hear us. God will listen to our cries. I don't know if he's wrong or right. I don't care. But is he telling the truth? I think he is. Brother, <coughs> you do not have to Play the, the man, play the game. You'll find satisfaction when you play the game, not the man. Um, look at the video. Look at P Square. Look at the videos. Top notch. Top notch. Judas doesn't ha hate South Africans. You hate South Africans. And you want to blame Judas for your hatred. <clears throat> Go on your phone, Google the guy uh, called Akon. I think he's from Senegal. He said the same thing. That African rappers, most of them are richer than their, their, their American counterparts. He said when they make videos, the Bentleys, the Rolls Royce, the Lamborghini that you see on their videos, Africans, we own those cars. He said in America, most of the rappers in the 
they rent those cars some of them don't even have cars they rent the cars for the videos after the video is shot and they take an uber back home to the hood wherever they are staying you're trying to be relevant by criticizing everything by the matters if he goes and uses a train you say ah, it's in electioneering if he goes and eat at the taxi race and say ah he's pitying those people who are selling food there if he said no i can't eat at the taxi rank i'll eat only me don't say ah he hates africans i guess you even hate the way you breathe just by breathing do you know some point it was trending for keeping quiet people were just asking why is he malema commenting for keeping quiet it was trending imagine when he opens his mouth he turns more Play the game, don't play the man. The hate Malema have for South Africans, he always compares South Africa with Nigerians. He always talks so low about South Africans. So we are in deep shit with this guy. Malema just wants the best for South Africa. He wants you guys to dream big. That's the truth. You can't compare Bonner Boy with Shebe. I don't know. Love Allah, but Nigerian music are far better than that of South Africans. If you don't vote for him, we'll vote for him, we Nigerians. Give us Malema in Zambia. We need him. South Africans, please, let's protect our country. Malema's vision is beyond South Africa. I love his honesty. He won't hide in hypocrisy to win votes. Mara is true though. Nollywood is big bro. He's going to be a president. He should really forget my vote. Fat Spain. He really loves Africans, not South Africa alone. South African artists are hitting America by storm. We have multiple Grammys already. We can look at ourselves and build our own people. If South Africa was voting him because he said the truth, then vote someone who you don't really like and regret it this man doesn't love us south africans he just wants to see us suffer you guys one I, one thing i have to say here is that julius malima is an advocate for one africa which south africans don't want they've made it publicly they don't want nigerians in their country they just don't want one africa or just maybe they feel julius malima someone said he's not mature they don't really like the way he talk and way the way he addresses things let me know what you think about this video let me know your honest opinion are you a Ghanaian watching are you a south african watching are you a nigerian watching someone is even went as far as saying that they should give him nigerian citizenship let him become our president this man is honest and truthful we love you sir bro i no blame you for trusting him in the first place so maybe they should give us malema and take tinubu let's know the country that we <laughs> thank you again once again for watching smash the subscribe button to be part of this great community and i will see you all in my next video do you think cereal is the best president for south africa as we speak and also so God bless Nigeria, God bless South Africa, God bless Ghana. I would like to know your opinion in the comments.